Greetings friends and welcome to Hong Kong, a place I know almost nothing about. I've never been here. You already know I didn't do any research before coming here. Uh, I just can't really be bothered. Uh, but I'm here to learn. I don't want to learn on the internet. I want to learn here on the mean streets of wherever the f we are. Uh, something something ladies market. I don't know if that means you can purchase ladies here. Is it too early for human trafficking jokes? I think it is. We will pause those. <laughs> Uh, but I think what I think it is is they like cater to like ladies goods like stuff women would be into like clothes This is a terrible example. This is a men's store uh, Stuff like this nice looking Stuff like that. I don't know who the f knows. There's a million fucking stalls. Let's go explore them Ooh, Traditional Chinese garb Get your baby decked out in some my fucking drip. You know what I'm saying seems like they got a lot of knockoff stuff Really nice, actually. Damn, they got the Jesus pieces? Fishy. Hello. Oh, you got the Star of David in this bitch? I feel like I'm in a mall kiosk. Hong Kong, the origin of the mall kiosk. Little known fact about Hong Kong, I'm just making up right now. <laughs> Ooh, hell yeah, bobble heads? Hello. Looking. Oh, touching okay, no? I can touch, okay? Okay, okay, okay. okay. No nice. problem. No yeah, problem, you, okay. You, you touch it. Okay, thank you, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Very nice, very nice woman, thank you. The market is so big. So big, huh? It's so big. So big, so many, so shopping, many, mm. many. How many market, how many uh, market, shops? Uh, shops, uh, mm. uh, 1,000, uh, many, many. Uh. Over 1,000 shops? Yes. Oh my God. Many, many. Wow. Very long. <laughs> very cool. Uh, ten la chip, uh, okay, yeah, 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 thank you. I'm not gonna buy a bobblehead, I don't wanna break this lady's shit. Shay, Shay, thank you, okay. thank you. Oh, they got and the Pikachu hats. Oh, oh my God, very cute. Wow, <laughs> that's ridiculous. This is a ladies market. Yes, ladies market. But are men okay here? Yeah, okay. Men okay, all right. So many men. <laughs> men, uh, have a men market, other, other uh, new guy. Oh, there's it's a men's market. Uh, yeah, this is a men market. Oh, Temple Street. Okay, Shay, Shay, thank you. All right, bye bye. Oh. I guess they have a men's market, but I define as a woman tonight, guys. We're gonna go undercover as a woman on the main streets of Hong Kong. What the f am I saying? Jesus Christ. A lot of this stuff is Japanese, and I will not stand for this Chinese imitation of Japanese goods and American goods. God damn it. <laughs> Just kidding, I have no integrity. Ooh, is that a corduroy Carhartt bag? That's kind of nice but i already have a knockoff bag so i'm not in the market but it is very nice i would enjoy that hello sir. hello hello very nice very yeah, nice really yeah nice. thank you thank you all right yeah i forgot to mention i am very hungry this evening but the food in hong kong has been a little off-putting to keep it politically correct i don't want to go insulting a whole nation's cuisine off of 24 hours here but uh i don't like it um it's very exotic I'm just coming from Japan where I know the food quite well and I know it's very delicious and reliable and here I feel like I'm taking a risk everywhere I go to contract salmonella. Um, well look at me, I said I was going to keep it PC. I'm really not trying to offend anybody with these videos, I'm just being honest. But uh, let's see if we can find some decent food here. This is a dessert, what the f*** is this? Oh, looks pretty good. I want to eat traditional Chinese food but that, every time I say that they bring me like intestines or dog or pig's feet or something. I don't know. I'm trying to be open-minded, but it's very hard here <laughs> with the food. This restaurant had a huge line wrapped around the outside, so I decided if the locals liked it, it was probably pretty good. But after I got sad, I took a closer look at the menu and saw some horrific shit. I mean, hardcore river snails, stewed pig intestine, spicy duck blood. Come the f*** on, are we trying to enjoy our food or are we trying to clean up a crime scene with our mouths? So I had to match up the items on the menu with the Chinese characters on my phone. So I was essentially guessing, which in Hong Kong is a dangerous game to play. And look what came out. What the f*** is this? This looks like a crime scene in a bowl. This is the closest thing I could find to a recognizable meat in this bowl. I'm guessing it was pork belly, but honestly, it was simmering in this clam juice and whatever the f else, duck blood. I have no idea what was in this bowl, so it, it didn't even taste like pork belly. It was, it was some bastardized version of a very delicious food. I've never wanted a Big Mac so bad in my life. <laughs> 
Well, that was $6 I'll never get back. I feel like this is the point in the video where a normal YouTuber would tell you, oh my God, it was amazing, the exotic flavors, but uh, that place in there, I don't know what it's called, I'm not gonna put them on blast, but uh, that was terrible. I really had an open mind to the snail meat, the hardcore snail meat, and I got the fried pork just to make it a little better. But um, I've officially closed my mind to snail meat and realized it tastes like urine. Uh, it's too spicy. Uh, what else? I promise you I go into these things with an open mind and I try to experience the local delicacies, but guys, that was just bad. That was bad food. I'm sorry. I don't know who that appeals to. Uh, but not me. It's not for me. I really didn't want to be that American tourist that just gets fried chicken everywhere he goes But I think that might end up being what's happening right now. I think I'm gonna go get some fried chicken. I feel a uh, subconscious compulsion to find fried chicken to um, Reset my palate from the torture. I just put it through I feel like I have a snot bubble on my nose right now. It was so incredibly spicy Everyone was gobbling it up though as if it was fucking Thanksgiving turkey. I don't know what I'm saying I was really trying to fit in and enjoy it, but I just could not. That was bad food. I got a waft from the street here. It smelled like delicious spiciness. And uh, I thought it was following my nose in there um, to follow the deliciousness, but um, it smelled like urine in that place. And by the time I realized that, I was sitting down. So I want to show you guys um, the menu one more time, the exotic menu. So it's, it's snail rice noodles. I don't know what that means. Stewed pig intestine, hardcore river snails, burning beef, crawfish snail, spicy duck blood, Grand Slam river snails. Crazy. Crazy. And as I was talking shit about the restaurant, an employee was standing next to me. So there's that. There's that. Sullying the small brained American reputation all over the world. First it was India, now it was Hong Kong. I'm sorry guys, I just can't stop talking about it. It was so bad. I feel sick. <clears throat> Hardcore snail noodles? What does that even mean, dude? Spicy duck blood? Why, why are they eating duck blood? Why are they drinking blood of ducks? All right, let's try to find some um, fried chicken or something <clears throat> that my palate is used to. Maybe some duck blood. <laughs> let's eat some duck fetuses. What do you have here, sir? What's wrong? Oh, souvenirs. Ah, oh, very high quality, yeah. Yes. Nice. nice. Did you make these yourself? <laughs> Just, oh, sorry, no camera? Okay, sorry. This seems like the place, if you have a girlfriend, to come get her a, uh, an authentic Gucci bag or whatever coach. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. Whoa, check it out, guys. We got a Lego hat with some um, American colors. It looks like a knockoff uh, Captain America or something. I don't know. Hello. Can you put Legos on this? Legos. Oh, no? Oh, okay. Looks like you can. Shay, Shay, thank you. All right. Wow. The locals are really not bothered by tourists here. I haven't had one. Well, we had that one conversation in the beginning. Okay. Oh, very cool. Oh, they got fake pit vipers? Oh, shit, dude. I might have to negotiate with homeboy for these. I got a mullet, I got a mustache. I need some pit vipers. <laughs> yeah, hello. Can I put them on? Can I try them on? Okay, okay. Oh, nice. I don't know, do those look sick or what, dude? Jesus Christ. The world around me is, everything's neon. Everything's 1980s, I feel like I need to do some blow. Get on a jet ski with Pamela Anderson. What am I even saying? Ooh, what color do we like, boys? Ooh, these are kind of sick. Are these douchey enough though? I feel like the Pit Vipers, the whole vibe is you're a douche. And uh, I just don't know if these are pulling it off. I look like some kind of awkward superhero. Let's see, yeah, you really need the douchey lenses. That's what makes pit markers, right? <clears throat> so, I think we're about to get in a negotiating battle for these sunglasses. My stomach hurts. Uh, these? Uh, how much? Oh, we got the calculator, right? oh, Okay. Let's see, can you do 60? Oh no, this one big one, no 60. No 60? <laughs> no, no. Hey, small ones are 60. This one, okay, 60. Ah. This one, no, 100. Lah. Okay, lah, my friend. Lah. This one, big one, yeah. Uh. This is big. New yeah, model. Yeah, yeah. Yes. How about, um, how about 80? Oh, whoops. Ah, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, you wish. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, okay. 80 okay. is okay? All right, yeah, all right. Okay. All right, that's decent. I don't know if I'm getting ripped. 
I have no idea what the price should be. Hey, Silo, Silo, yes. Yeah, yeah, nice. Very nice doing business with <laughs> thank you. you. Thank you, thank you. Thank oh, you. Thank you, thank you. Okay, thank you. you so much. Okay, bye bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. All right, I feel like that was a successful little deal. Let's try them on. I'm gonna wear my pit vipers at night, as a pit viper owner would do, as if I owned real pit vipers, like a douche. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Watch out, ladies. In the ladies market, time to go lady hunting. <laughs> oh, miss, no pictures, please, no pictures. I am a celebrity in these streets with my pit vipers. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I can walk in traffic, no problem. <laughs> I own this city. This is my city now. <laughs> All these plebeians with no pit vipers. Sir, where are your pit vipers? Yeah, you ain't got none, that's right. <laughs> Honestly, all jokes aside, I feel like that negotiation went quite well. I started with 60 and ended up paying 80. She went down considerably. She started at 110. She was highballing. And I did the smart thing. You always gotta cut the price in half, guys. Take it from a pit viper owner for half price, almost half price what homeboy, homegirl quoted me at. All right, we took a big L with the soup and we came up with a dub on the pit vipers. Wow, I'm feeling pretty good about myself. Wow, the capitalist version of China, AKA Hong Kong, is pretty sick. All the capitalism and whatnot. Not the noodles. Oh my God, I can feel these on my head. The quality is terrible. I feel like they're gonna fall apart. If I were to actually get on a jet ski, like a true pit vibe owner would do, I feel like they would fall off immediately. Oh, sorry, sorry. Okay, sorry, sorry. All right, thank you. Uh -oh. Bro, the crowds here in Hong Kong. Oh my God, what am I doing? My pit vipers are on, my vipies. Ah, that's much better. The crowds here in Hong Kong are ridiculous. I, um, I've just spent some time in Japan and Tokyo and uh, this is far worse. The, the population density is sickening. It's pretty bad, but what do you expect? I mean, I don't want to be all negative guys. I'm just being honest. But things are a lot better with my pit vipies. Oh yeah. This kind of reminds me of like a Chinatown, is this Chinatown? Is this all Chinatown? Is that where we are? I'm just gonna play ignorant tourist all day. <laughs> it does kind of feel like Times Square vibes though. I don't know, is this a touristy area? I don't really know. I got squid and fucking bamboo and fucking, oh, I don't even want to think about everything that's sloshing around in my stomach right now. I might be physically ill. But hopefully it'll fuel this next little part of the adventure. I don't know where we're going. I'm just walking until something interesting happens. <laughs> Did you guys see how intimidated they were by my pit vipies? Either that or they think I'm a huge douche. There is no in between. Yeah, get that budget shit. All right. Time to cut the bullshit. Oh, oh. Oh, dude. I'm Oh, I'm feeling nauseous. Oh, oh, garbage. Oh, in my stomach. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, I gotta find a phone case. Let's see if we can negotiate. This seems like the place to do it. All right, I found one that I like. It's a very tacky Ikea one that looks horrible. It says, instructions, please place Keep a happy mood. I don't know if y'all can see that. Probably not. I love stuff with really bad English on it. Let me put the pit vipies on for negotiation time. The max I will spend is five USD, which is like 40 Hong Kong. So let's see what homegirl thinks. Oh, sorry, hello. This one? Uh, how much, how much? 48. 40? 48. Oh, okay. How about uh, 30? 45, 45. Uh, three zero? No. Okay, 35. Oh. How much? Last, last 40. Okay, I think 35. 40. Okay, thank you, thank you. All right. Oh, hard negotiator. She did have my price, though. She did have my price. Oh, f it, I'll pay 40. I'll pay 40. F it. She did a good job. She played ball. She played ball. Okay, 40, 40 okay. 40, okay. Okay. Okay, okay. Can I make sure it fits? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Good, good, good. 40. Okay, good price, good price. Last price, yeah. Thank you. All right, check it out, fellas. Ikea instructions. Place, keep a happy mood. Every day can have a nice mood. Ikea, it's a big sale. Yeah. 
Yeah, we came out on top, all thanks to the pit vipies. She saw one look at the pit vipies and knew I was not fucking around. I got the IKEA case for the exact price I wanted. Five US dollars, probably overpaid, honestly. It's probably gonna break within 10 seconds, but hey, you know, when in Hong Kong. All right, now we've come to the creme de la creme, the lingerie store, where they have butt pads. All right, so many different kinds of butt pads. So if you feel self-conscious, oh wait, I'm missing the pit babies again. So if you feel self-conscious about the size of your ass in Hong Kong, get a butt pad. <laughs> All right, Hong Kong, time to prove me wrong. I got meat skewers. I feel like you cannot mess that up. If this goes bad, there's McDicks behind me. Some kind of beef, chili seasoning. It smells incredible. Oh yeah, that's good. Oh yeah, I'm not surprised. This shit's fire. Got a uh, local fake German beer to wash it down. I'm doing it right. Mate, guys, I'll take full responsibility for earlier. Maybe that was on me. I just tried to go where the locals went, all right? Consume it. Now we have um, some other kind of meat with peppers in it. I don't know. Even better. Guys, I've been proven wrong, and I'm very happy about it. I don't want to be a hater on here, talking shit about all these cuisines, all these towns, all these countries. I'm just going to keep it a buck with you. Well, guys, that's going to be it for day one in Hong Kong. Sorry to say I hate food like this. But uh, food like that, the grilled meats, that's where it's at. Today was not a total failure. We got a pit by beast. We got a shitty little phone case. But I grow weary of this city. So in the next video, I think I'm gonna venture out and go into the countryside. So you haven't, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Oh, Jesus. So you don't miss any updates. See you guys in the next one. Peace.